Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I've got two really good reasons for you to tackle this problem with me. One, this skill, the skill we're looking at, direct translation, comes up all the time in algebra. Uh, you need it, you really do. If you can't say it, you often can't do it. Uh, that being said, um, a second reason, you might see something just like this on your GED. They like having you translate algebraic expressions, equations, or inequalities from the language of English into that symbolic language of algebra. Really uh, popular concept. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, direction say match each phrase. And we see they're actually uh, not just phrases, they are sentences on the left-hand side. Uh, so we're going to match each phrase or sentence on the left-hand side to the appropriate inequality on that right-hand side. Let me grab a pen so I can mark this up. And let's talk about what I mean by an inequality. Hopefully uh, you have seen the last video that I did and you know that an inequality is expression to at least two expressions separated by inequality symbols. Uh, symbols that even though they don't say equal, so not an equal sign, uh, they will tell you some relationship between the two sides. The inequality symbols that we use are the less than symbol, Looks like the left arrow of a, a number line, that's how we remember less than and greater than symbol, as well as the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to symbol, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. A says the sum of a number m and three. Let's start with this phrase, the sum of a number m and three. So sum means the answer when you add. So what are they telling us? They're telling us to add some number m and three. And I see that it is at least seven. Now, careful, careful, guys. Students tell me all, then, all the time, oh, at least must be a less than symbol. You'd be wrong. Let's think about what at least means. At least. If I tell you that I want to make at least $200, would it be okay to make $200? Of course it would. I want at least 200. 200 is okay. So it's possible to be equal to 200. So I want that little equal symbol that I put under the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to signs. Now let's think about that. If I say I want to make at least $200, are you okay with my, am I okay with my earnings being less than 200? No. At least doesn't mean I want less than 200. It means that I want 200 or more. And so what I want is this M plus three to be greater than or equal to 200. And that's a really tricky thing about that phrase, at least. Be careful. At least is the opposite of what a lot of students expect. It's greater than or equal to. Okay, so I want the sum of the number in three to be at least, uh, why did I say 200? Oh, because of my example. In this particular problem though, in A, it says we should be at at least seven. So I should have had a seven over here. Okay, so the sum of a number M and three is at least seven is the same as M plus three is greater than or equal to seven. So A matches with three. Great, let's take a look at B. B has a mathematical word that a lot of students forget. So let's take a look. The first part is the product of a number M and three. The product of a number M and three. Now, when I teach my in-person GED classes, I teach these words on the very first day of class. Unfortunately, students forget them by the time we get to this algebra concept. So the product of a number M and three Product means that it's a multiplication expression. They want you to multiply together M and three. Now, a lot of newbie uh, students would write that like this, M times three. But what they don't realize is that mathematicians kind of drop the times symbol in algebra because it's so easily mixed up with uh, the letter X. It's like, are you timesing or is that an X? I can't tell, especially with y'all's handwriting. And how mathematicians will do uh, multiplication instead is they will use proximity. They will just put things really close together. They will put the number first, three, and shove the variable, the letter after it, 3m. And the fact that those things are shoved together with nothing in between them signals to all other mathematicians that we're multiplying. So if you didn't know that, you need to know that. There is 3 times m, or the product of a number m and 3. Okay? Now, 
it says that that product of a number M and three is at least. Okay, there's the signal that I need my mathematical verb, my inequality symbol in this case. And if I'm saying it's at least three, again, or at least seven, I'm okay with it being equal to seven. And it would be okay, again, if it's at least three for me to have more. I'd be okay with having more. So at least we said means greater than or equal to. So 3m is greater than or equal to seven. So b is uh, one. Okay, now let's look at c. C says the difference between a number M and three. So difference means to subtract the two numbers. So I'll take M, I'll subtract three. The difference between a number M and three is at most seven. So is at most, it's okay to be equal to seven or I could be less than seven, but no more than that, at most seven. So careful, it's again the opposite of what students would expect. If I say at most, that's actually less than or equal to. So this is m minus three is less than or equal to seven. This one is two. Okay, now finally, let's look at D. D says the quotient of a number M and three. Uh, by now, we've ruled out the other operations, so I hope you realize that a quotient is an uh, answer when you divide. So they want us to take M and divide by three. And again, it's at most, so it would be okay to be less, it would be okay to be equal, seven. So. Um, M over three is less than or equal to seven matches with D and this one is a little trickier. So D is four. Great, so we had A, three, B, one, C, two, and D, four. Tricky and we're gonna look at it in the coming days from word problems where sometimes it's even trickier for students. Um, but if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.